pro boxing fans, we're here in Riyadh. It's fight week. Daniel Dubois, how are you, sir? How's things? When did you get into Riyadh? I'm good. Got in there yesterday, so just getting the cobwebs off and um, all the jet lag. I see you're in your training gear, so I know you've just trained. I uh, just spoke to Big Baby Miller, who's been chilling in there, chilling in Riyadh for the last, maybe the last week. Um, first of all, uh, just talk to me about how things have gone leading up to this fight. There's not been much time to prepare, but I know you've been working diligently in, in the gym with obviously someone that we know in Don Charles. Yeah. Talk to me about how things have gone. Great. Training after, this is like the follow-on from my Use It camp, so I'm not out of shape. I'm not, I'm just building back up from that you know the what I took out of, for training for that fight I've just put it all back in and I feel rejuvenated and ready to do the business. Gerald Miller does what Gerald Miller does and he tries to sell a fight today or sorry two days ago on Instagram he called you a shrimp so I asked him what, what he made of that he goes yeah that's what he is he's a shrimp what, what do you make of what do you make of uh, Gerald Miller the way, the way he's trying to push your buttons let's say. He's good he's a character you gotta love him I love characters in boxing you need them he, that makes the job easier doesn't it sells this fight itself but it's good I love it but look on, on a more serious level obviously we know he brings he's a big lad he brings he brings a lot of weight uh, and sometimes that could be to an advantage or disadvantage to yourself how do you think you can get past that you know a big lump for example coming at you how are you going to be able to no, push past that I have to show that on the night it's my problem and I have to deal with it and I feel that I've got all the tools and all the, the power and everything else ready for that. So it's not really an issue for me, but um, I've got to show the world and everyone watching that what Daniel's really made of, and I'm excited for that. He's not fought at a top level for a long time. Obviously, we know what happened with him in regards to his past, in regards to failed drug tests. Um, his most valid opponent since coming back is going to be yourself. Do you feel that's going to play a part in this game? That, listen, you fought Usyk in your last fight. You fought good level opponents leading up to this. That ex your experience is going to pass his... his it's through the roof, hasn't it? Recently, it's gone through the roof. I've had it. Some, you know, different events happening, you know, and around, outside of the ring, so... It's all going to put, put me in good stead to take him out and give him his first O. Oh. So, I mean, take his O away. But um, I'm 100% I'm up for it and I'm looking forward to it. Talk to me about a job that Frank Warren and Dizla have done with you. In regards to they have got you big fights, big events. Uh, when I was listening to, I think, Talks 1, they said, listen, Frank Warren's done a great job with Daniel Dubois, especially. Uh, what, what do you make of the job that they've done with you, pushing you to your limit and pushing you to the top? I feel like they've, yeah, they've given me the opportunities. I'm really thankful for that. And Frank, you know, he's, he knows it. You know, he does his job well. He does his job well. And um, every time they've, put, you know, made a call, we've answered, and we've been up for the challenge. And this is no different now. I'm at a stage where I'm more in control of myself and ready for it. Um, so, you know, thanks for all the team, the whole everyone else outside the ring that's making this show happen. A lot of people are saying now, obviously, you've got the experience in, so your next push for a world title will hopefully be the one for yeah. you to grab the strap. But how important, I know it's not great losing at any sort of stage, but sometimes picking up the experience and learning from your losses, how important have they been uh, when you look back at it? Very, um, you know, it's the, just the, you know, the, the, f the surrounding events and learning from previous experiences is, is what I feel like is really going to make the difference for me. I feel these yeah these last few months and you know this even year it's been a exp very very learning experience so all of this is just got i'm just feel like on saturday i can just lay it out let release all of that and just show the world that i'm you know i'm back and i want to get back into big time boxing and this is a fight to do it final one before i do let you go uh, the main card joshua wallin and wilder parker yeah. do you feel like there's any banana skin there because there's already a date touted for March 9th for AJ to be fighting Wilder but do you feel like with them fights Joshua Wallin and Parker fighting Wilder that we could possibly see some sort of upset on Saturday night? Potentially Parker even with Wilder you know they they're different you know they bring different you know elements to the game so you never know Parker he's definitely a contender you can't take him lightly can you uh, he bounces back after he's you know after his defeats and um, shows, shows he's a warrior so even what Otto Wallen and Joshua, you know, it's good fights, good good bill. I'm blessed to be on this card. And Talk to me about that picture, actually. Yeah. It is it is a pretty epic picture, right? It is, man. It is.
It's a movie, movie set, isn't it? It is, it is. Are you going? You never actually got to make the promo. I asked, I asked Miller the same question. Obviously, mm -hmm. uh, Miller's. Well, not, thing. No, no, the, prom, the promo video. Oh, the one with yeah, Wild Are you movies. going? Are you, you weren't on there, that? maybe? Yeah, it, it was good. But yeah. I asked Miller the same question. Are you, are you going not to be on that? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who thought of that? But anyway, it's, they, they, they played their part, and I, now I guess I've got to do my part in the ring where it matters. Daniel Dubois, always a pleasure to talk to yourself. Uh, good luck with everything that comes this week. A yeah. big week for yourself, and good luck on Saturday night. Good Thank stuff. you so much. Nice Thank you.